They had a slow skills day at Adder, which uh, was organized by the BMW Club from Pretoria. Look for both S's and GS's. And this was the first event slow riding. I just rode past some uh, of the timekeepers, they're getting a briefing there. And uh, there were like four rows and uh, ten columns, so all in all about 40 bikes. I got into the line, pretty soon the first people went off. And the idea is to not touch the ground from your front wheel passing the first line, your front wheel passing the last line, and the last person across wins. And a five second penalty for each time you put your foot down. So some are doing much better than the others. And looking up seem to help, especially the rider poses to us. Some guys have very very good balance. And then soon enough it was marching. The first run I did was uh, sitting down, uh, not too comfortable yet standing up, but uh, once I had a little bit of experience, I think the second time I tried to stand up, and it wasn't much better than, uh, than the first time. And I was quite surprised at uh, how slowly I got across, so I thought it would have been a lot quicker, um, and I kept up with most of the guys. son came with me for the day and uh, a friend of his Don which afterwards I actually found out was not allowed it had to be a BMW paid up member they weren't really members here's Jerome second on the left coming on his little one to five he didn't do too badly during the day. It was an uh, awesome experience for both him and me. And here, uh, Johan is showing us how it should be done, the second course. got awesome balance on that motorbike. It was also the first time that he rode the bike and uh, they just explained just what the course entails and then we have to stop with our front wheel on the white dot before putting your foot down. Soon enough it was my turn, uh, I'm very new, I skipped the uh, corrugated iron, and sitting down trying to take my turns quite wide maybe a little bit too wide the guy from Edda showing us what the course is and how to ride which helped a lot kept telling me keep look up look up as I uh, sometimes fixated a little bit too much on the the cone right in front of me 
definitely helps to sort of plot the course 10, 10 meters ahead or so and then just let the, the body memory do the rest. Yeah, I'm supposed to go over but I don't have a dash plate so uh, I went around. I want to take a chance. And the last few cones, and then stop with my front wheel on the dock. And then the pillions are to go. the camera here in my hand which uh, points a little bit too much at the clouds and with my luck as I turn away that little mishap Quickly recovered. Which allowed the other people to catch up. how well they, the rider and pillion work together. Then I had another go, this time I decided to stand up and see what the difference is. I'm taking a little bit closer to the turn. I was told to look up, I'm trying to look up. And instead of looking at the next first cone, looking at the furthest cone. The last one. It's supposed to go over the log, but I don't have a bash plate, so around it. Much better this time. And then through the last four cones. Stop on the white dots. Then we had the enduro race. Okay, let's the problem here was my camera for some reason right? didn't record it, so this is from my Go. son on his cell phone. Uh, it's a group of five, you're supposed to leave the uh, starting point within five seconds and finish it within five seconds. Uh, of the first and the last rider. I uh, walked part of the course, which uh, did give me a little bit of confidence. But there were one or two sections that I didn't walk and uh, <laughs> did get a bit of a, a, a scare uh, in one of the corners and uh, almost came off. Remember if you're riding loose gravel like it is here, it's all about a steady throttle, staying loose and looking up. Yeah, 
he'll try to use a higher gear than what you thought you might have to. He definitely was an awesome experience at Edda and uh, he'll be seeing me in the near future for some uh, proper training. Here comes the first guy. He's going to go through the water pit. Just inside of the track now. Nice and done. Nice and casual, nice and casual. First aid running. Good, good. That's me, right at the back there. Okay, the doing well, yeah, you got one out of the promises. Way ahead, looking for the And there's a little piece of gravel and then right at the bottom here by that uh, yeah, sign right on the left. Oh, there was somebody oh, fell. Oh, oh, oh. Short firstly behind. And the sand, and we arrived the there. Threw out the side stand, got down and uh, tried to help him lift his bike. Um, I was too sure where to, uh, to grip the bike to lift it up, to help lift it up. So we managed. A nice little bit of teamwork there. If you fall over, wait for your friends to come and help you pick your bike up, especially when it's loaded. Why waste your energy? Okay, they're all getting going again. Up. Good teamwork, very and nice. Continue our journey. Look up! the last rocky little bit. Alright, the last little obstacle. Nice little rock there, there's a nice green corner after it. Ah yeah, that's looking good. Me, thank the rocky. Nearly there, nearly there. And then we finished the crossing line and within good. half seconds of the show. Well done, very well done. We also took a group photo, but uh, that wasn't on the forums yet. And then finally we had the Roger challenge, we had to complete the course as quick as possible and these are the pillions doing the easy course, the A course. And again I was holding it in my hand so a little bit too much cloud. Next time I'll uh, keep wearing my helmet. And have the camera mount on the, on the helmet, then uh, at least uh, the viewpoints are much better. Now it's returned. Another lady from Ada, she helped me as well over the course. Keep shouting where to go, if you don't make a mistake and don't lose too much time. over the back. Of course a bunch of trees. Come through a zigzag. Avoiding the logs. In a more difficult course you go through a tire pit. They're skipping it and over the last bump. And 
they finish. And another couple. It did look like rain early on, we had a few drops on the way there, but luckily the whole day planned out very, very nicely. And not too hot with the cloud cover. Then it goes through the sand pit, over the bump, and then back behind the trees before they come back over the big hump. And then after this it was prize giving, and then it was the long ride home. And all in all, an awesome day. But it did prove I needed a little bit more training, and a little bit more off-road knowledge is required.